Hi guys, I'm here with Coco Mitchell, a mentor, a teacher, actress, but best known as a supermodel. Coco, welcome to Pop Style TV. Thank you, Tiana, for having me. This is so exciting. I'm so excited <laughs> to share a little bit of your story with our viewers. Um, and I'd love to start from the very be beginning. Uh, what did you want to be when you, when you grew up? I wanted to be a dancer. And my mother was like, no way, you're going to be a teacher. So I said, okay. And back then, all black people wanted to be either a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, a professional, not an actress or, I mean, I never even heard of a model. If I saw a magazine, I just thought those were pretty people in a book. I had no idea what that was. And um, when it was time to go to college, I went to the City College of New York. I graduated as a teacher, elementary school teacher, and I taught first, second, and third grade. I'm walking down the street in New York, and this woman comes up to me, and she says her name is Eileen Ford, and she's the founder and owner of Ford Models. And she said, how much money do you make as a teacher? And I was like $227 every two weeks. <laughs> and she looked and she's like, oh my God. She said, if you were a model, you could make that every 15 minutes. And she explained to me what a model was. And all I could think of was, it sounded like wah, 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 wah. It sounded ridiculous. Someone's gonna pay me to take pictures of me. So when she started to say that I could travel, learn different languages and cultures and make money. And I said, wow. I could help my family out and I could also enrich my life. So I said to her, I said, I have to finish out my contract with the school, but I'll come and see you right after. So right after that, a year of teaching, only one year, I went back to see Eileen. She sent me to have pictures done. I started going on castings. I hated it. So I sat down with Eileen after the first year and I said, I, I don't think I want to do this. And she's like, what are you talking about? You're working. And I said, but it's boring. So I said to her, I said, okay, since you think that I'm going to work, can I work someplace else? And she's like, well, you could go to Miami or you could go to Los Angeles. And I'm thinking Miami, I'm from Florida, my family, that's too close, no, no, I want freedom. So I moved to LA, I moved to LA. I loved it, I loved it. I'm working in LA, I get an apartment, I'm living my life, I'm loving it because I have a life. I'm meeting very interesting, creative people and I'm working like Eileen said that I would. Then they started sending me to Florence, Italy. They're flying me back and forth to work with this photographer. So the third time they sent for me, I decided that I was going to stay in Florence, Firenze. I was going to learn Italian and I was going to study art. So here I am in Florence. I'm shooting with Aldo Falai. When we finished the job, I started going to school, art school, to study art and learning Italian. So my agent calls me, the agency was Nina Blanchard. They call me and they say, Coco, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm studying art and I'm learning Italian. They're like, why don't you, you're a model. You're in Florence. So no, you need to go to Milan. I go to Milan. I have no idea still what I'm doing. Remember, I still don't know what I'm doing. So I get there and I'm thinking, this is going to be very interesting, okay? At that time, the black girls were ruling the runway, but I was not a runway girl. The agency was Ricardo Guy. 
Ricardo says to me, and the cell phones back then were this big. Uh -huh. He says, Coco, this is Armani. He wants to book you for three shows, $15,000 a show. Wow. And now, at that time, I can imagine how much that was. <laughs> I mean, they don't, that's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, a, a lot of girls have never made that ever, even now. It's like God sent Eileen forward and said, okay, now I'm changing your life. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. So I decided to live in Europe. I lived in Milan for 11 years and I traveled all over the world. Australia, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Singapore, London, of course, Paris, of course, uh, China, Moscow, just, it's been a, an, an amazing, amazing ride. So what do you think about having more plus size models, uh, models of different shapes? Like I would assume, and correct me if I am wrong, before you were supposed to be a certain height, a certain size. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I, when I first started, you had to be a zero. You had to be a zero. And you had to be, I mean, you know, of course, Kate Moss broke that thing, but you had to be at least five foot nine. Okay. And then the girls started coming in that were five, like I'm five, ten and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. At first, that was too tall. But I was one of the lucky ones that came in when the girls started, when the whole thing started to shift, when the girls were taller, when the girls were print as well as runway. Uh, right now, if you see the girls that they are using now, they're very, they're very interesting. I mean, if you look at the girls that they book now, they are all different. It's yeah. not cookie cutter like it had become. Did you ever have a problem with maybe be models or, or you in particular being mistreated by maybe casting agents? Oh, it was horrible. Yes. The first time I went on a casting in Florence, it was at night. I went to this casting director. I, he took, he cast all the shows in Florence and they sent me to see him at night and he handed me the dress and he's right there and I'm right there. And I went to look to go behind the screen because I've never done that before. And he's like, what, what are you doing? You know, he's Italian, so that's the way they talk. And I said, well, I'm, I'm gonna get dressed behind the, over there. He's like, no, 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 you change right there. So because I grew up with five brothers and I have no fear of men, and I have no fear of you not giving me the job because I don't care, whatever. I said to him, I said, then you take off all your clothes. <laughs> I love it. And he's like, get out, get out, get out. He starts screaming at me. I get to my hotel. The phone is ringing and they're yelling at me. What did you do? You are crazy. I said, I found myself in a situation alone with a man in a room i didn't feel safe oh no 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 no! everybody does it i said i didn't feel safe i didn't feel safe to be a model you have to be courageous you have to be brave you have to educate yourself and you have to understand your self-worth that you are worth something you are human I mean, the way that they treat us. I mean, I learned to speak Italian and I couldn't believe they talked about you from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. I speak French and I get to Paris and I'd be like, oh, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a human being. Why? Oh, look at this and look at that. It's a scrutiny that you have to be strong to deal with, you know? And you have to believe, yo, I am somebody. I don't care what they say, you know.